daughter, yeah. She looks confused and mistreated. I don't know, maybe the, the values, the value Owens did some bad things to her. I don't know, let me just shut up. I take about 11, right? How many do I have? I got 11. Okay, let me take 11 more. Oh man, this heals everybody, right? So let me take like two of those. I need a like a mess of magic droplet and um, cure. I, I take maybe like five risens, ten risens. Yeah, I take ten. Uh, cure. I don't really need. I'm not a you know big fan of that. All right, so that's good enough for now. She's like the Valowins. They were looking for the sacred green stone. They said it shines even brighter than a moonstone. I've never seen a stone like that, but they took in, ev away everything in the shop anyway. They're crazy. She just like ellipses. Ellipses. All right. The says I must help you, so even though I don't like it, I will sell it to you. Okay, thanks, dude. What you got here for me? Dang, that's super expensive, but it can't be helped. Give it to Vice. And the hunting arch, or arc. Arch? Arc? I don't know. Give it to Ica. Oh, only 50, only went up by 15. That kind of sucks. Um, ooh, that's really good for Drachma and Vice. Let's see. It's good for Ica and Fina. And that's good for Drachma again. And Vice. Drachma goes up by 87 and 80. 90 and 77. I, I'll give it to, to Drachma. Yeah. And, uh, let's see, Vice goes up by 14 and 18, and the other one gives me 17, 15. Let's see, 14, 18, or 17. You know, I mean, like, I usually do a lot of casting for, uh, Athena and, and Ica, so I don't really you know do too much to me so i get two of those put it on the, lo the lovely young ladies in the courtyard feather i don't really use any of these like i seriously do not use accessories or rings or whatever you call them in this game let's get rid of this get rid of that get rid of that and sell all this crap here anything to make a profit I usually keep these, I don't know why, but yeah. All right. Let's talk to him. For a long time, we did not fight wars. Weapons were only for hunting or as defense from wild animals. But ever since the Valorans arrived, I have started making weapons to use against people. Man, that's deep stuff, man. Some more ellipses. So yeah, we got all our weapons. We replenished our stock. Let's just take a look. So I got, yeah, that's pretty decent. This is pretty much all I need, you know. And where's that, um, yeah. Can I just, can I move it? Like, how do I move things? Yeah, screw it, I don't care. It's not like it's, you know, it's all turn-based. It's not like it's on the fly, make a decision type of thing. But this is, I can leave here, right? Yeah, return to your ship. Now I can go back to finding discoveries and stuff. So I, I think, like, I'm looking for the, the Chick Island. So I'm like, where's the Chick Island at? I want to check all these continents. Not continents, but islands. There's nothing on this island. I mean, I want to check over it. Mm, I don't know. I'll check the other place. I can put up a fight, so. Alright, you guys run, that's good. Oh, I said, what's he doing? He ain't doing nothing. I should learn how to, like, really utilize magic, but I don't. I just use magic kind of for healing every once in a while. 
That's pretty much it. Yeah, this guy's gonna run away, so let's just gang up on him and hopefully he'll run. Probably damage us before he goes. I'm gonna do something stupid. Never floats his boat. Nobody hit him, so why is he hitting himself? It's kind of crazy like that. Oh, nice. Let us be thankful for our safety. Sweet. So I'm gonna try to find this island. I did check this one, right? Yeah, sure I did. Okay, where's the uh, the hot to something, whatever that place is called? Like, okay, it's right here. So I check this island. Yeah. Let's check this one up here. Actually, this is not. It's kind of high. Hopefully, we'll find something. Like this water here. I found this. It's a discovery. It's not. Alright, so be it. Let's get out of here. Okay. So the island is right there. I checked that small place. I didn't check there. I think that's the king's hideout. Over there. So I checked that and that. Let's check this next one. Here. I know it's somewhere. I just don't remember. It should be like something like right here. Yeah, there it goes. The Ixa Ness Village. The Ixa Ness Village, which you can't visit. A tribe of women that live on a small island in Ixataka. They are skilled and fierce warriors. They, they raid nearby villages twice a year to kidnap men. The number of men in nearby tribes have been almost reduced to nothing. So, can I be kidnapped? I'm just messing. I'm being stupid. <laughs> I found it. That's important. You know, a lot of things go on in you know, that part of the continent. You know, Amazon's going wild. I should seriously start using magic. Next round, I'm going to use magic, I promise. That's like a speed kick to the face. Ah, <laughs> oh, fatigue breath. Hope it don't work. Shoot. Spirit. Oh. So who's left? I gotta heal here a little. I mean, I'm trying to think if there's more um, stuff I should be finding. You know, it's like, I don't know. I'm tempted to almost look at my Dreamcast save file because I found just about everything in Dreamcast. That was like a long time ago. We did it! Yeah, so next round we're gonna use magic. I don't guarantee, but. And I believe there's more discoveries in this one, so... Let's see what we got here. Sacreds! We did a number on Fina, man. I know there's like a little thing that's like bouncing around. 
Now the king's thing is so. on. Let's go take a look. I found that totem pole thing over there. I think there's fruit growing under something as well. So we gotta check under the islands. Let me check under the islands. Can I? Oh, I'm as high as I can go. Let me try to go lower. And uh, check under the... Ah, oh, crap. Under one of these islands, there's like some fruit growing. I heard it's good for uh, fertility. I'm just being stupid. Yeah, as always. Yeah, because that's painful. Him brushing me with his, uh... Yeah, it's a painful thing. Wait, I said I was going to use magic. Darn it. See how I said it, it wasn't a guarantee? I'm going to use magic. I promise. I promise. Let's use magic. Okay. So, if these guys are, like, all about the fight, like... The green stuff, they're not gonna like fire. So we're gonna take them out with some fire. Let's, let's just go with Vice and some Pyrus. And that should do it right there. That should take everybody out. I thought it would. I guess I was wrong. Wait, give me a sec. Doesn't sound like fun. I'm trying to text and play. So, okay, that didn't work. So, uh, what about, uh, uh, you know what, screw it. Don't want magic. Let's just go with normal stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's funny, my text to speech actually just text everything that I said. <laughs> I got issues. My text to speech is funny. It's funny like that. I just texted everything out. Oh, sweet mother of Mary Moonberries. Let's check under these boots. I don't think it's under here, though. Like under the island itself, I think. So let me go back to the uh, Hok to Shinkin, whatever the island is called, and look for the fruit. I don't want to use the map. It's the King's Island. But what just happened? Oh yeah, I forgot about Fighting Day Loco. What is she doing? Oh, she's smelling. I smell fried chicken, I know about y'all. And it ain't burning. It's roasting and frying to a nice golden crisp. I'm hungry. Fried chicken, Kool-Aid, and watermelon. The staples of every single black person. I'm just messing. <laughs> I'm most likely gonna have uh, ravioli with chicken breast. What type of chicken breast? Not fried, but baked chicken breast. That's just how I roll. Yeah, I would love some fried chicken. Yeah, I, smell, I know she's fried chicken. I can smell the fried chicken. Huh? Uh, yeah, I know. I, I can make, I said I had a ravioli and I'd also have big chicken or boiled chicken. Yes. Along with some spinach, my dear. See, that is the proper meal of the proper meal. Some days I don't feel like being proper. Yeah, he's crazy like that. Burn, burn, burn. Yeah, explanation, explanation, explanation. Yeah, witness the awesome power of my flame can, man. The thicker the forest, the more it burns. Ha, 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 ha. Explanation, explanation, explanation. Yeah. I 
guy's psychotic. Mr. De Loco. Yeah, sure did. Did all those things. Right, he said perfect. Perfect! All caps. Rage. <laughs> Medium. Or perhaps well done. Yeah, he's... Yeah. Alright, let's go. I forgot all about this battle, so... Got a ship battle. How do we counter? I don't know. Alright, so this is De Loco. This flagship, the Chameleon. Okay, so we're back here at the grid. So, of course, you know me, I like to get uh, one of those. Oh man, this is heavy cannon or light torpedo or. Let's start with standard. Actually, let's just start with the three inch blaster. One time. And we're going to go back to that. More focus. Okay, he's going up in torpedoes. I'll do that next. But first, I just want to feel him out. <sighs> Let's just feel him out. Scott. That's a good smell of fried chicken. You want that three inch blah joke. I'm gonna get my three inch blaster. So that feels. Guess that's what you expect from the three inch blaster. Body is gonna hit me this way. We're gonna do a three inch blaster, bam. And then we're gonna do the uh, stand, no, heavy blast, heavy cannon is good. And then we're just gonna do a little bit of healing. So he's, gonna, he's gonna get hit hard if he don't destroy me because I'm really trying to attack hard, as hard as possible. Throw that torpedo up there. It's gonna come on down on him with the heavy cannon and the three inch blaster. So hopefully that works. Oh, that sucks. A three inch blaster. Oh, sweet. This torpedo lost. Hit, hit him hard. You gotta be joking. Dag nabbit. Alright, let's try this again. Now he's gonna start like burning me. Yeah, I don't want to get close. Yeah, so this is what we can do. Always got to use that. Just heal and uh... No, this evasive action's all the way around. Nice. See how much it does to me. I already know what's gonna happen. I just don't know how much damage it's gonna be. So 
behind him. Mm. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Harpoon cannon, fire! Nah, no, not really. That sucks though. I had like three attacks. And where I'm supposed to attack, and nothing happened. I'm a little, I'm a little upset about that. To be quite honest. It could have been worse. You know? Stop hitting me with the thing, yeah. That, that wasn't even legible. Yeah. It's not legible. Speak a little better. But I'm not too healed, so this is what we're gonna do. Put that there. Put Sacrus there. And, uh, I need some more uh, focus. I might do it right, I might not. I don't honestly know. But, you know, there's only one way to find out. You know what I'm saying? Did heal. First and foremost, we gotta get the harpoon cannon out of the way. Then we're gonna hit him with, you know, let's do a torpedo. I'll put it right here. No, 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 no. I'll we'll put it there with the harpoon cannon. I think I want to chill for now and have just a wait and see attitude. Yeah. Wait and see attitude. I feel like I needed more um, spirit and focus, whatever you call it. Hopefully, you know, that'll put a little cap to my hip. You know what I'm saying? Get that hit, some good stuff. Even if it's just like 200 more damage. Plus the torpedo. Nice. I didn't think the torpedo would land, you know, that much. I should have just took this dude out. Why, why am I prolonging this? I'm playing too cautious. You know? I'm playing too cautious. 